What's going on, family? Welcome back to the channel, man. Listen, today we're going to be checking out some Eminem. All right, just dropped a new album. You know I'm here for it. This one is entitled The Death of Slim Shady. Now, we're, we're going to go through a, his first couple of songs on the album. Um, This one is entitled Renaissance. And then after this, we'll, we'll check out Habits. Now, I, will, I may do a live reaction to the whole album tomorrow when I get off work. You guys let me know with a hashtag go live in the comment section and I got y'all, all right? So a lot of y'all were saying, start from the beginning, go straight through. So that's where we're gonna start today, all right? So without further ado, let's dive straight into this thing. Come on. Not gonna lie, the first thing I think about when I hear that is the Hawk Tour, Hawk Tour shorty, the way it was super viral getting paid hella bread just to show up at, at venues, y'all. Come on. Changed her whole life. The death of Slim Shady. With balls in his do-rag, he's a experiment, no man. He stands pen in his hand like Edward Scissorhands who slices competition and just goes about his business. Anyone who knows about him knows about his shindig, shenanigans, and all his wacky annex in the papers. Shady's dangling in the baby tank. Now this is the Slim Shady that we missed, bro. Me personally, bro, that we missed, I missed. I haven't heard this since I was a little youngster way back in the day, bringing back the old school flow, the old school cadence that we all fell in love with him with, bro. Like he never left, for real. Like he never left the game, came straight out with it and kept it going. <laughs> kept it going. If that's how you're gonna start it off, bro, if that's, if that's how you're gonna... With balls in his do rag, he's a experiment. I can't no wait man. to get he to the in his hand like Edward says a hand to slice his competition and just goes about his business. Anyone who knows about him knows about his shindig, shenanigans, mm. and all his wacky annex in the papers. Shaggy's dangling, a baby tangled in a blanket, strangling him, hanging him over the railing by the ankles on mm. some gangsters. You gotta love it, the dangling, tangling of the vapors. Yo, if the flow is fire, bro. Like I said before, it's like he never left it alone, bro. He's just been chilling on that joint, just trying to change it up for us. But listen, man. If it ain't broke, don't fix. Come on. Stangle in a baby tangled in a blanket, strangling him, hanging him over the railing by the ankles on some gangster shit. Child the danger, man. Dark brain arcane, but it marked clean and it. You aren't tame and it's sharp pain in the heart, aim in a bar chain, but it carved names in it. Start praying and start raving on beats, start craving it. Your arms late, different arms way. The way this dude is able to like keep that same thing, the bing, ding, all the way through to the very end. I mean, this is a, this is what, a minute and 38 seconds long. He's still going with that, bro. The level of, of pen got to be master class to be able to do it the way he's doing it right now. Come on. In a blanket, strangling him, hanging him over the railing by the ankles on some gangster shit. Child the danger, man. Dark brain off came. What movie was that? Was it Harlem Nights? He hung him over the balcony? Red? <laughs> well, I think, I think it was Harlem. It might have been a different movie. Come on. Strangling him, hanging him over the railing by the ankles on some gangster shit. Child the danger, man. Dark brain off came, but it marked clean and it you aren't tame and it's sharp pen in the heart. Aim in a bar chain, but it carved names and it starts praying and start craving them beats, start craving it. You're in arms late, you're in harm's way of it. About to show your ass why I'm still a pain. I see your in arms length. Uh. Beats start craving it. You're in arms late, you're in harm's way of it. About to show your ass why I'm still a pain in it. You want to know how I do it? I can't explain the shit. Mechanics brain with a pinch of big daddy cane in it. But I can show you the ropes till you get the hang of it. Elephant tied instead the nut telling me. Bro, the fact that this cat is like 51. And still rapping like he's out here 22, 23 is crazy. You want to know how I do it? I can't explain the shit. Mechanics brain with a pinch of big daddy cane in it. But I can show you the ropes till you get the hang of it. Mm. Elephant tied instead the nut element of intelligent hood. Let me rest the development. Sell it dwellers in wise intelligence. And tell men to read through hell I went. Accelerant from lack of melanin. Filling in school smart eloquent. Help me to rebel again. Shit. I, I want to hear what he said. He said lack of melanin. What? Let me rest the development. Sell it dwellers in wise intelligence. And tell men to read through hell I went. Accelerant from lack of melanin. Filling Ooh, in. Who said through elementary? I went through, basically went through hell because of lack of melanin. Because I ain't black. Bro, come on! I ain't enough element of intelligent hood. Let me rest the development. Sell it dwellers in wise intelligence. And tell men to read through hell I went. Accelerant from lack of melanin. Filling in school smart eloquent. Help me to rebel. 
elegant shit so well invent so eloquently yeah i was irrelevant soon as i quit giving the fuck i started to celebrate now there's travel inside the mind of a hater cause i don't see no fans all i see is a bunch of complainers kendrick's album was cool but it didn't have any bangers wayne's album and gays couldn't tell you which one was lamer joiner's album was corny shady's new shit is way worse everything is either too tame it is too much anger i didn't like the beat so i hate now i'm not gonna lie hold on shady's new shit is way worse Everything is either too tame, it is too much anger I didn't like the beat, so I hated Mike Delete later You nerdy freaks would find something wrong with 36 chambers It's what they do to the great Alright, cause at first I was like, yo, he throw, he, is he throwing shade at K-Dot? And all the rest of the youngsters, but he's basically like saying like, yo Haters are always gonna find a way to hate on something Even when you're already, even when you're already doing something great Even when you're already doing your thing and you're the best at it A hater is always gonna find something negative Gonna find an error in your mistakes and speak about it, bro. Facts. That's all facts. Give me all that back. Let's travel inside the mind of a hater. Cause I don't see no fans. All I see is a bunch of complainers. Okay. Kendrick's album was cool, but it didn't have any bangers. Wayne's album and gays couldn't tell you which one was lamer. Joiner's album was corny. Shady's new shit is way worse. Everything is either too tame. It is too much anger. Mm. I didn't like the beat. Isn't that, isn't that crazy how he, he he's still aware of what's really going on? People were saying the K dot jump was kind of boring. People were saying the Lil Wayne joint and the Kanye joint, you know what I mean? And people were saying the Jordan Lucas joint was corny. But it's cool to see how he's viewing it from his perspective, like the OG, this thing like, bro, y'all are all great MCs and all great artists. Don't let these people who, who, who don't work hard at any damn thing tell you you're not a great artist in what you do, bro. That's crazy. Come on. Album was cool, but it didn't have any bangers. Wayne's album and Gaze couldn't tell you which one was lamer. Joiner's album was corny. Shady's new shit is way worse. Everything is either too tame, it is too much anger. I didn't like the beat, so I hated Mike Delete later. You nerdy freaks would find something wrong with 36 chambers. It's what they do to the great OG, that's an OG. But what's crazy is about that though is like this though, man. People like back when rap was just rugged and just you could say whatever you wanted to say people were saying oh hip-hop's out of control look at all this gangster rap look at what the mz just mcs are saying they're, they're they're just basically out of control and we got to freaking censor everything they say and do and which they did eminem's a prime example of everything he all the freaking sonic loops he had to jump through you know what i mean just to remain and be an artist I mean, cause he was, when he first came out the thing, he was saying whatever he wanted to say, but people loved it though. The rawness of it, the realness of it, and how he wasn't trying to like be somebody else or fake it, fake something up. You know what I mean? He was just being him. Straight Detroit, white dude, trailer park, and it is what it is. Come on. Hated Mike Delete later. You nerdy freaks would find something wrong with 36 chambers. It's what they do to the greats. Pick a part of Picasso and make excuses to hate. So you can wait for Facts. your flowers until you're blue in the face, stupid. You ain't gonna get them until your funeral wait. That's true. That's true, man. They ain't gonna love you till you're gone, bro. And before we get into habits, we gotta talk about some of the stuff he was talking about at the ends of the intro there. Definitely addressing people finding a way to hate on you no matter what you do, no matter how great you are, bro. But as I always say, man, whatever you craft you wanna go into, strive to be the best and don't worry about no haters, man. Or oh, haters are always gonna be there. You know what I mean? But for Slim Shady or Eminem to be 51 years old and still acknowledge there's so much negativity in the game, but you guys still are pressing forward. As the OG, you guys you gotta keep pressing forward. Is a dope uh model to have in the game. So without further ado, let's get straight into habits. This is featuring white gold. Um, let's go. Been waiting a long time for this shit. Long time. Long time no see. Thought you got rid of my ass, huh? So far, so good. <laughs> Alright, here's what we're gonna do. You take this. Or I put a bullet between your fucking eyes. Here, Fuck no. we'll split it. No. Half in that van, I'm driving straight out of van in a black sedan, fast as I can. In Pakistan, getting chased by Pakistans. You know how I roll, bitch. I'm an avalanche. In Pakistan, getting chased by Pakistan. Get out of here. Can. In Pakistan, getting chased by Pakistans. Uh -huh. You know how I roll, bitch. I'm an avalanche. This my shit. I'm gonna spit it how I wanna spit it. Whoever gets offended, suffer dick and fuck a critic. I'm to get retarded on this motherfucking shit. It. You can't say retarded. retarded. Shut up, midget. Shut up. Fuck. Been trying to break the habit of saying any r words but i'm still an addict so it's getting harder i've been calling bitches hoes since a kindergarten this is jimmy carter now i'm kitty corner sitting in pc court with a shitty lawyer like damn you got an addiction man i know you can't get rid of me forever because you know that I slim shady is back y'all 
Eminem is back, yo. It's crazy to see him rapping like this at his age and still showing he still got it. The creativity is still there. The cadence is still there. The flow is still here. And at this point, he's having fun with it, man. Come on. Still an addict, so it's getting harder. Been calling bitches hoes since a Kenny Gardner. This is Jimmy Carter. Now I'm Kitty Corner. Sitting in PC court with a shitty lawyer. Like, damn. You got an addiction, man. I know you can't get rid of me forever because you know that I'm prescription, man. Mm. God damn, I miss you, Slim. Woo. You got an addiction, man. I know you can't get rid of me forever because you know that I'm prescription, man. Next time I'll be in your yeah. bed. Now, before we keep going with this one, this is my first time here on White Gold. All right, so you guys comment down below. Maybe a song I should check out of his to get more familiar with him. All right, and as always, make sure you guys like this video and let's keep this thing going. Come on. Was just a kid from Detroit who knew how to destroy the booth and had a point to prove. In the midst, then the midst of poison youth sentences. I'm pinning are just a toy with you, which is a joy to do. Slim is just a lyricist. I like how he's playing with the words, playing with that fellow with sentences. The the high points going up and coming back down. Come on. Sentences. I'm pinning are just a toy with you, which is a joy to do. Slim is just a lyricist. Hear the voice is true sentiments. Got the women pissed and it seems like men are just off throwing a huge clitoris. Pussies. Yeah, probably annoyed a few feminists. I reminisce on them blowing a fuse over my points of view Still I'm devoid of two shits to give My thinking is primitive But when it comes to giving it to anybody Boy is Bruce generous And about as much of a boy is Bruce Yo, yo Bro, what's going on, bro? Bro, he's definitely bringing Sh Slim Shady back, back out the bag, bro Because he's back on his saying whatever, whatever the hell he wants to, alright? He ain't going crazy, crazy But he, he, you know what I mean? He, he's pushing, he's pushing the limit Bro, I, I just miss the I miss the I miss the good old days, bro. Where you could just you could just say whatever you wanted to say and not worry about no cancel culture, not worry about no, you know what I mean? People coming at you, people coming crazy at you. But let's get back into it. Come on. When it comes to giving it to anybody, boy is Bruce generous. And about as much of a boy is Bruce generous. Cause I'm not a boy, I'm a man, bitch. Man, bitch. My speech is free, it's his choice to choose. He went crazy on that joy. But when it comes to giving oh, it to anybody, Bruce Jenner, you know what I'm saying? girl boy back and forth what, what was it uh the, the the athlete of the year or something crazy listen man that was wild come on you still i'm devoid of two shits to give my thinking is primitive but when it comes to giving it to anybody boy is bruce generous and about as much of a boy is bruce generous because i'm not a boy i'm a man bitch man bitch my speech is free as his choice to choose gender is this shit is like opioid abuse isn't it yep you got an addiction man I know you can't get rid of me forever cause you Let's know that go. I'm prescription, man. We back. God damn, I miss you, Slim. Woo. You got an addiction. We man. back. I know you can't. Bro, I'ma tell y'all something, man. It's been a minute since I've been able just to sit back and play a whole album straight through, dog. A minute. Everybody's dropping singles here and there. You can't really get a grasp or get a feel of the artist. You know what I mean? You can't really see. You can't get any insight on, on just singles dropping here and there. But just drop a whole album, bro. And so far, so good. Listen. Miss you, Slim. Woo. You got an addiction, man. I know you can't get rid of me forever because you know that I'm prescription, man. Next time I'll be in your bench. There's times when I lay down to sleep, I argue with myself. Am I the only one who thinks this way to I need help? He's back. Just a little bit. No, a lot of it. I really, really got to quit. Something's wrong with me. My God. Look at you. What's the matter with you people? You're sad that people are mean. Well, I'm sorry. The world is at one big liberal arts college campus. Sorry. You're all pricks. Mom shaming, dad shaming, yeah, fat shaming, mansplaining, blah. Crap. I like to see him having fun with it. Like, it's been a while since he had fun with the music, bro. Bring back the characters, bring back the voiceovers, you know what I'm saying? Add a little extra to the, to the music, bro. Come on. Mom shaming, dad shaming, yeah. Fat shaming, mansplaining, black cry babies, attack shady. When mad cause they can't tame me. They come to censors like the Avengers. And they assemble like Prince and then turn a word like ginger into the N word. All these pronouns I can't remember. They of them theirs, his or him hers. Golly, bro. But bro, he's been through every cycle, bro. He's been through two or three generations of music. He's seen how the world turns. And basically, like, bro. He ain't feeling where it's going, dog. He ain't feeling. You can't say nothing. 
You got so many pronouns out here nowadays. I mean, it's just getting ridiculous, bro. All right, you got dog, cats, man, cats, and dog animals, and think people don't know who what they are anymore. And they were saying back in our day we were messed up. That's what they was telling us. Hey, they was like, oh y'all, y'all better strap in. Y'all in for y'all for a long ride. But I, just, I feel bad for the next generation coming up. Golly, boy. Come on. Word, all these pronouns, I can't remember. Damn. They of them theirs, his or him hers. Ah. Into them girls who bought tits to get attention. Then get hit on by ugly men who are Creep. not in your league. So you pretend you're a big dumb and meet to him. Ah. How rage, how fake. What? Now God. Hey, bro, what's he addressing? Folks getting the surgeries done to get attention. Then once you get attention, you go to the internet and play the victim. It is crazy. We've seen it play over and over in the videos of the people in the gym doing the most, recording the most. And then all of a sudden, a dude just looks their direction. Oh, he's staring at me. Oh, going viral. You know what I'm saying? Shit's crazy. I'm glad he's talking about everything. Come on. League, so you pretend you're a big dumb and meet to him. How rage, how fake. Now there's some gals, they just clout chase. Yeah, never sell grapes in your brow race. Bitch, you ain't about head, about face. Little white, middle age, upper middle class with a glass of wine in your cigarette. Bitch, get off the internet. You ain't even fed your kids dinner yet. Parental discretion, mental aggression. My head's a Smith and Wesson. You're messing with a lethal weapon like an evil stepdad. I got an infrared like a ginger step kid who pissed the bed. I do this shit in chess and it's just a mess in there. Put your head and if men want to wear lipstick and women's underwear, who cares? The shit is there. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. You ain't even fed your kids dinner yet. Parental discretion, mental aggression. My head's a Smith and Wesson. You're messing with a lethal weapon like an evil stepdad. I got it infrared like a ginger step kid who pissed the bed. I do this shit in chess and it's just a mess in there. Put your head. And if men want to wear lipstick and women's underwear, who cares? The shit is there. Business not bear. Witness beware. Bitches the flare. Which on you scared? Bitches some surreptitious and square. Business just attack. We're going to have to do another breakdown. Probably at a different time of these lyrics. Because ain't no way you catching all these, bro. It, it ain't happening. If if you see people catching all these, cap, come on. Bear witness, beware, bitches the blare, which on you scared, bitches some surreptitious and square, business just attack my therapist with a pair of scissors like Merry Christmas dresses, a hairy Christian terrorist with the hair trigger. But with these buttons, I'm always pushing, pain I'm always inflicting. Protesters outside the shady office is livid. It'll make you think that you had the game unlocked till they pick it. Only way for me to explain it is I'm conflicted. Walking on next like if I take it too far, is this it? Part of me gets it and wants to say I'm sorry and fix it. I'm so so I'm stay Hold on, man. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute, bro. We 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 gotta talk about this, bro. He's rapping like I know I said it before. He's rapping like he's 22 again, bro. 23. And then the argument always comes up. Is Slim the best rapper of all time? Listen, he's gotta be at, at least the best rapper right now. Name a rapper better than he was spitting and rhyming better than this, bro. Name one. It, it ain't gonna be none of the kids. All right, but you got name one person. Comment down below. Let's get back into it, man. You think that you had the game unlocked till they pick it? Only way for me to explain it is I'm conflicted. Walking on next like if I take it too far, is this it? Part of me gets it and wants to say I'm sorry and fix it. I'm so so all my statements are basically contradictive. Like using the F word for gay is wrong and offensive. And it's insensitive as it be saying the R word isn't. Wait a minute, which R word? Rape or retarded digit? Not cool. Would this rhyme be okay if South Parker did it? Okay, bro, bro, he's talking about, bro. He's saying how you, you say one, one other word and you'll get banned from everything. But you could say a certain other hard R word, and it's cool on certain platforms. Listen, man, come on. Like using the F word for gay is wrong and offensive. But and it's sensitive as it be saying the R word isn't. Wait, wait a minute, which R word? Rape or retarded digit? Not cool. Would this rhyme be okay if South Parker did it? Okay, screw you guys. Would it make you less angry if Carbon spit it? God damn it. And as far as what I just stated regarding midgets, you'll probably think I'll just say that I'm playing. I'm not, I meant it. Yeah. Swear to God, I see one of them little fuckers come at me. I'll pick it up by his legs and drop it and kick it. <laughs> Marshall, your wicked face that you are addicted. But they gon' do me the same as the baby with all of this shit. Watch. Chappelle and Colin, they're calling shady massage. While raising three daughters who graduated from college with honor Summa cum laude, my sense of humor is probably twisted It's painfully obvious You got an addiction, man I know you can't get rid of me forever Cause you know that I'm prescription, damn. man God damn, I he miss ain't you, do like that. Hey, you got an addiction, man I know you can't get rid of me forever Cause you know that I'm prescription, man Next time I'll like be in your best I'm just playing, little people You know I love you Bro, 
Not yet. Wait, 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 wait. Pause this. I wasn't ready. All right. So all the hype that came into this while I was at work, people hitting me up, telling me to listen to the album, listen to the album, listen to the album. When I hit y'all up and said, what album, what, where should we start? The best thing y'all ever could have told me was, bro, start from the beginning and y'all never lied. That's how I knew it was going to be great. All right. So that was the first two songs off the album. Not going to lie. We might have to dive back into those things and dissect them lyrics a little bit. But so far it's sounding great. So far it's sounding great. I'm liking how 51 year old Eminem is showing you how it's done. All right. So until next time, I'll probably drop a couple more tomorrow. But like I said before, if you guys want the full live reaction, hashtag go live in the comment section. I got y'all tomorrow. And until next time, y'all be safe out there.